Now, budding young scientists in the Eastern Cape got the opportunity to demonstrate and present their own scientific investigations and engineering projects at a regional science fair in Makanda. This is all part of a series of regional fairs for the ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists, taking place from the 17th of July up until the 23rd of August. Now, their fair provides a platform for successful learners who've progressed from the district expos across South Africa to showcase their skills. The program is meant to encourage learners to be innovative and come up with solutions for societal issues. One of the strategic aims of the science engagement strategy is to popularize science and technology and to make it relatable and exciting for learners. Expo for Young Sciences Board member Dr. Mamuletsi Musia joins us now for more. Dr. Musia, very good evening to you. Thank you so much for your time. Welcome to the late edition. A really exciting project here. Great platform for young people to showcase their extraordinary skills and out of the box thinking. Talk to us about uh, what you've seen so far and what impact this expo has had for young people. Good evening and thank you for having us. Um, Saturday was a very great day for me. I got to spend some time with young learners from Makanda and surrounding areas. First and foremost, I just want to talk about one of the schools that got their learners. And so as I was engaging with the learners, they told me that they left home at 1 a.m. Uh, that one tells you how eager these learners are for to showcase their work. Uh, they are eager for learning and they are eager just to meet like my individuals and friends. So I, I, as I was walking around, you know, part of what we do at the is to tell learners, as you go home after school, just look at your environment, look at your surroundings and see what it is that is a challenge in your surrounding, what it is that is a challenge in your classroom, for instance, and explore ways of solving those problems. And um, so some of the pro uh, uh, projects that were shot, there was one who wondered if it is a way of doing music, um, exploring whether if they were to take what they learned. Okay, D Dr. Mosia, perhaps uh, we're going to have to hold that thought. The quality of that line is not sounding so good. Let's take you back to our story now with our guest on the line, budding young scientists in the Eastern Cape, got the opportunity to demonstrate and present their own scientific investigations and engineering projects at a regional science fair in Makanda. It's all part of a series of regional fairs for the ESCOM Expo for young scientists taking place from the 17th of July up until the 23rd of August. Expo for Young Scientists Board member Dr. Mamuleti Musia joins us again, hoping of course Dr. Musia that the line is a lot more solid. You were talking to us about this exciting venture, what the platform presents for young budding enthusiasts and the creators of course, scientists of tomorrow. Thank you so much for having us. Um, I'm hoping that it is better, uh, the audio is better now. It is indeed. Great, thank you. As I was saying, so we, we got to in, engage with learners from uh, Makanda and surrounding areas, and they were ranging from uh, middle, um, I reckon, uh, high school, uh, mainly high school learners, uh -huh. but you also had uh, uh, higher primary learners as well. And they were presenting projects in an attempt to solve pro uh, problems that they encounter in their environment or their surroundings. For instance, there was a learner who I guess he's a musician or he enjoys music and he realized that because he spends quite a lot of his time listening to music, why not convert some of his notes to music? And uh, um, as he danced to that music, then he can actually memorize some of the things that he learned at school. And according to his studies, it actually improved his marks. I'm assuming he was doing mainly his marks and probably his friends. Um, but. The, the interesting part was that these learners are so creative and the problems that they identified, it's things that you and I, when you actually listen to them and you look at them, you'll be blown away. Mm. One of them interacted with someone who is visually impaired and she thought of a means of actually helping people who are living with visual impairment. So for someone in grade 11 to be thinking about solutions and an and app, to help people with visual impairment and self teaching them um, teaching themselves to code and to come up with with a solution it's really really impressive 
And some of them is just interesting, um, creating electricity from fruits uh, to charge their phones. And you can see the, some of the problems that they want to solve are for themselves, whereas others are solving problems for even people that are, not, that, that are a little bit distant to them. To them. But um, one of the things, as you, as you were earlier talking about um, the science engagement strategy and its aim, what we want to build as well is a learners who have the, the right skills for the future of work. We want to build um, problem solving, creative thinking, communication, and through the research that they do, they are able to develop a whole lot of these skills over and above just the confidence to spend in front of a judge and to describe your problem, what it is that you did to solve it, and um, what you came up with and the solutions that uh, you discovered as part of your studies. Mm. So it was very interesting. And also the fact that we had learners who are coming from uh, diverse communities and diverse backgrounds, and they did not allow themselves to be limited by what they have at home. They were using whatever it is that they have at home to come up with solutions. What about um, the conversation around subject choice and perhaps encouraging more young people to take up mathematics, science uh, and subjects that will get them later on at tertiary level into the faculties that will really make uh, an impact in so far as the solutions and, and science is concerned in South Africa. For instance, the, the shortage that we still talk about when it comes to engineers in South Africa. How much of a difference do you think such a project will make in perhaps being aspirational for, for young people to engage with the, the subject and also now make it part of their future? In fact, this project is very important in demystifying science. It makes it very relatable. Learners are able to take what they learn from class and make it practical uh, in their day-to-day -day lives. And that is the one thing that we require in getting our society to stop fearing mathematics and science. Every time I, I, I engage with learners, I often ask them, are you doing mathematics pure maths or are you doing maths literacy? Not that I have anything against mathematics literacy, but the more we, the learners that we have who are doing pure mathematics, the more we would have learners who would be accountants, who would be engineers, who would be innovators of the future. So it is very important for learners, where possible, to actually try and do pure mathematics as it opens up doors for them. Um, and we need a lot more of the scientists and engineers so that we're able to develop technologies for ourselves. As I was describing, some of the problems that the learners were trying to solve were problems that are African problems, that are South African problems. And if we do not have people to solve them ourselves, we're not going to have anybody coming from anywhere else to come and solve our pro those problems for us. For us. Mm. And obviously, government is very um, interested in ensuring that we, we build a society um, that, that is able to solve our problems. And for that, we need learners to, do, to take up maths and science as, as subjects, particularly in, in metric, so that it opens doors for them to actually go and do um, maths and science-based uh, careers. So when it comes to the entire competition, what are you looking for as you, you know, go across the country and gather the students, uh, the, the pupils, and also encourage them to really think out of the box? We're looking for people who can think out of the box. We're looking for learners who are able to identify uh, problems in their own environment, in their own neighborhood. Um, you, we don't want somebody who is based in Makanda solving a problem in Soweto. Not that there's a problem with that, but it becomes easier and the solutions become richer if people are solving their own problems. We're looking for innovation. We're looking for uh, solutions that are we are able to implement. And obviously some of these um, are, are implementable, but more than anything, it is the skill that the learners are developing during the process, the problem solving skills uh, identifying that problem and being able to solve it, uh, solving it through creative means. Obviously, those skills are the ones that would take them into the future. Uh, so more than anything, we're looking at what it is that you did in order for you to, to come up to a solution. Remember, when we're doing research, it's not always where you find a positive answer. A negative answer or a what you would think is a no answer might be an answer. 
but with the skills that you developed as you were building, as you're going towards that finding the solution is what we're actually building into the learners. Very well. Thank you so much for talking to us this evening. Expo for Young Scientists Board Member Dr. Mamueleti Musia speaking to us about this platform that uh, will empower young people across the country to think of solutions in the sciences uh, department.